consider the following second order differential equation. We want to find the general solution. And the first step with this second order DE will be to find the auxiliary equation. And when we're finding the auxiliary equation in this case, that is going to be 2m squared plus 7m minus 4 equal to 0. And we then need to solve this for m. Now this example will actually factorise. So that is going to become 2m minus 1, m plus 4 equals 0. Or we could have also used the quadratic formula there. And that gives us solutions m equals a half or negative 4. So these are the two roots of the auxiliary equation. And because they are real numbers and different to each other, we can see we have two real different roots to that equation. And we use these to determine the form of the complementary function yh that's associated with our differential equation. And the general principle is that in a case like this where we have two real different roots, then the form of yh will be ae to the m1x plus be to the m2x. Hence in this case we have yh is equal to ae to the half x plus be to the negative 4x. Now the second step is looking at our differential equation. This is a non-homogeneous differential equation because of that non-zero e to the negative 4x term on the right hand side. And that is of the form e to the px where the important issue here is whether p is a root of the auxiliary equation. And in this case, we had e to the negative 4x. But you might recall negative 4 was one of our solutions to the auxiliary equation. It was a single root of the auxiliary equation. So therefore, yp will have the form cx, e to the negative 4x. We're looking at it directly up here, e to the negative 4x and negative 4 was a single root of the auxiliary equation. So therefore, yp is cx, e to the negative 4x. This is to be a particular solution of our DE. So we then find the derivatives of this, substitute them back into the original DE so that we can find the value of c. So the first derivative of yp with respect to x will satisfy c e to the negative 4x minus 4cx e to the negative 4x using the product rule. And the second derivative of that, differentiating c e to the negative 4x, gives negative 4c e to the negative 4x. And once again, this term, negative 4cx e to the negative 4x, will be the product rule. So differentiating the negative 4cx bit first gives us negative 4c e to the negative 4x. And now considering the derivative of the e to the negative 4x part of that, we also get a term plus 16cx e to the negative 4x. And you can see we can simplify that slightly to get 16cx e to the negative 4x minus 8c e to the negative 4x. Now we need to substitute these back into our original DE. So substituting these into our DE, we get 2 times the second derivative, which is 16cx e to the negative 4x minus 8c e to the negative 4x, plus 7 times the first derivative, which is 7 times c e to the negative 4x minus 4cx e to the negative 4x minus 4 times y, which is minus 4cx e to the negative 4x, which is all equal to the right hand side e to the negative 4x. So expanding all of this is going to give 32cx e to the negative 4x minus 16c e to the negative 4x plus 7c e to the negative 4x minus 28cx e to the negative 4x minus 4cx e to the negative 4x equal to e to the negative 4x. 
And this might look a little messy, but if you look at it, 32CX e to the negative 4X, we also have minus 28, lots of that term, minus another 4. So those CX e to the negative 4Xs reduce to 0, which simply leaves us with negative 16CE to the negative 4X plus 7CE to the negative 4X, which just becomes negative 9CE to the negative 4X equal to e to the negative 4x. And we can cancel the e to the 4x's there to get negative 9c equal to 1. Hence, c is equal to negative 1, 9. And therefore, since yp was cx e to the negative 4x, it is just going to become yp equal to negative 1 9th x e to the negative 4x. Now the general solution to such a DE is y equals yh plus yp. Hence in this case we are going to obtain y equal to ae to the half x plus be to the negative 4x, since that was our expression for yh, and n plus yp, which becomes minus 1 ninth x e to the negative 4x. And so this is then the general solution